It's Thursday, 9th August, and this is Top Stories by Rooster News. M. Karnanidhi, a towering figure in Tamil Nadu politics, was given a state funeral and buried at Chennai's Marina Beach on Wednesday in the presence of the country's top politicians. A massive crowd followed the DMK Patriarch's casket from Rajaji Hall, where leaders, including Prime Minister Narendra Modi, had paid tribute to him earlier in the day. Two people were killed as they rushed for a final glimpse of Kalainar as police used batons to control the surging crowds. Karina Nidhi, who always appeared in public wearing dark glasses and a yellow shawl draped over his shoulders, was wrapped in the national flag. He was buried close to the memorial of his mentor, C. N. Annadurai, another former chief minister. His casket read, A person who continued to work without rest now takes rest. Suspended Anna University faculty G. V. Uma has filed an anticipatory bail petition in the Madras High Court in a case booked against her by the Directorate of Vigilance and Anti Corruption, or DVAC, on the charge of having taken huge amounts of money as bribe from students to boost their scores during re evaluation of answer scripts. The offence had allegedly been committed when she served as the controller of examinations last year. The anticipatory bail plea has been listed for hearing before Justice M. Tandapani today. In her affidavit, the petitioner said she held the post of controller of examinations between March 3, 2015 and March 2, 2018. During the period, she conducted the examinations for the students of the university as well as those of affiliated colleges in a fair and transparent manner without giving rooms for remarks from any quarters. The petitioner can neither influence the examiners nor the officers to award favourable marks to any student. Further, the respondent, DVAC, has not conducted proper inquiry and had opted to pick and choose the method of arraying the petitioners in the crime. The petitioner is an innocent person and has not committed any offence or much less offence as detailed by the de facto complainant, her affidavit read. plans for a campaign to enhance patriotism among the country's intellectuals. The move is seen as an attempt to counter discontent among academicians, some of whom have criticized President Xi Jinping recently. The campaign will be launched mainly among young and middle-aged intellectuals at schools, research institutes, enterprises and public institutes, according to a notice released by the Communist Party of China, or CPC, Central Committee's Organization Department and Publicity Department last week. The key aspect of the initiative will be to strengthen the political guidance of intellectuals and bring their ideological and political identification in line with the party's overall goals. It will include a special symposium to study Xi's thought, special training for intellectuals and mobilizing intellectuals to conduct activities in poor and remote areas. Xi has recently been tested with the escalating trade war with the United States and a fake vaccine scandal leading to some degree of domestic discontent. The Directorate of Revenue Intelligence, or DRI, has seized around 10.5 kgs gold and cash worth Rs 1.74 crore during searches conducted at the premises of a businessman in Kolkata, according to an official statement issued today. The searches were conducted in three premises, an office, a godown and a residence of a jeweller named Rajendra alias Raju Damani. The office and godown were located in the busy Bara Bazaar area of central Kolkata, which is known to be a hub for gold transactions, while the residence was located at an apartment complex on Lord Sinha Road. 
This case comes close at the heels of a big haul of 23 kgs of smuggled coal coming from Siliguri by buses from five persons only the previous weekend and another 8.5 kgs of gold seized at Aiwal. With these seizures in the current financial year, in the region spread over West Bengal and the northeastern states, the DRI has seized over 204.5 kgs of gold and gold jewellery valued close to Rs 61.35 crore in the market, smuggled from Bangladesh, Myanmar, Bhutan and even China. Secret information that during the Kanwar Yatra you might create trouble. With this red card, we're informing you that if you create any trouble during the Kanwar Yatra, action will be taken against you. You will be held accountable. This is what red cards given to at least 250 residents, both Muslims and Hindus, of Kalem village in Bareilly district of Uttar Pradesh by police over the last week say. Apart from the police's red cards meant to deliver a psychological message, the district administration has identified 441 locals who may cause trouble and have had them sign symbolic bonds of Rs 5 lakh if they disturb the peace. The measures, which have set off panic in the village and prompted 70 Muslim families to leave, come a year after violence marred this village during the annual Kanwar Yatra that is underway. During the Yatra last year, clashes between Muslims and Kanwariyas who passed through a Muslim-dominated neighbourhood in Kalem village left dozens from both communities and 15 security personnel injured. Two FIRs were registered, one naming 29 Muslims and another naming 14 Hindus. The Kanwar Yatra will go through the same route this year, and while Hindus in the village are confident of a peaceful yatra, the red cards, the frequent searches at homes and the rupee 5 lakh bonds are an indication of trouble for most Muslims in Kalem. We round up this newscast with fuel prices from key metros. In Delhi, petrol is sold for 77.10 rupees per litre and diesel for 68.54 rupees per litre. In Chennai, petrol is sold for 80.09 rupees per litre and diesel for 72.39 rupees per litre. In Kolkata, petrol is sold for 80.04 rupees per litre and diesel for 71.35 rupees per litre. In Mumbai, petrol is sold for 84.54 rupees per litre and diesel for 72.76 rupees per litre.